Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits video. Today it's a beer haul and uh, I've just been delivered a box full of beers. So as I get them out and as I wipe them down with uh, Disso uh, wipes, we'll go through them. So, Bira 91 Blonde. Um, never heard of it. Um, can't really see where what the alcohol content is. 4.5%. So yeah, this company, lowcostbeer.com, I seen the advertisement last week and I thought to myself, well, why not, because um, what, what it is, they've got loads of beers that are either short date or slightly out of date. And I thought, well, it's a good time to get beers and uh, I might as well try some. So, Beer of the Dead, and it's a Hefeweizen, 5.5% alcohol. So yeah. And uh, not one of them I've had before. So for me, always a good thing. Now, why am I wiping these down? Well, it's not been horrible to the people who sent me them. But at this day and age, none of us know what the hell we're bringing into their house. Beer of the Dead Blonde Ale, 5%. Even though I won't be drinking them for a while, it's just a case of... Um, being overly cautious. I don't think any of us can be overly cautious. Um, sadly, my uh, a relation of mine lost his grandma and uh, to the virus thing. And uh, so, Bira ninety one white, and that is at four point seven percent. So I didn't get everything I ordered because simply because. Um, they obviously share sheer amount of sales at the moment. Everyone's going online at the moment and getting the beers. Hawkshead Lager. I've actually had a bottle. I've got a bottle of that already from Home Bargains. So, so another one. Red McGregor. Three thousand years in the making. Orkney Brewery in Kualu. Four percent alcohol. If anything, the bottles will be clean. <clears throat> if they weren't clean before, obviously. So, I've just been to work. I've put in a five hour shift. And unless there's an um, emergency, that's me done for the week. Bless you, my son. Gonna be a lot of beer reviews this week. Rhubarb, no, kumquat and chrysanthemum pale ale. That's a strange one. Never heard of that before. Ah, I'll be glad to get off the bottle. Bottles are harder to clean than bloody cans. Alright then. So, palm, 5.2%. Doesn't really tell you anything more than that. Again, imported from Belgium. And then we've got Cassells and Sons Brewing Company. It's a Pilsner from them, New Zealand, it says. 5.3% and again from Cassell's a Pilsner what set me two Pilsners? damn oh, well. that is always the thing sometimes when obviously you order from online there's a good chance like at the moment everybody is buying beers and uh, you know, some, it's just one of them things, I'm afraid. Um, so, not bastard. Yeah, I'm not joking. That's what it says. And it's a five point five point eight percent ABV. Um, cloudy golden golden hoppy ale. Very interesting. Right onto the small cans. Offshore Pilsner by Sharps, who make Doombar. Well, they do if you buy it in Cornwall. If you buy it nationwide, it's more than likely it's, I think it's Marston's or uh, Molson Coors, I think, who actually do, uh, make it. Right then, Big Smoke Brewing Company. Uh, a Gold Spark Citra Lactose Pale, 3.6%. So 
So yeah, this lot, little lot cost me 38 quid on PayPal. A good about 25. I'll show you them all when I've when I've done cleaning them and that. Next up, Franciscan Well Brewery. I've seen this. I'm sure I've seen this in, in, in bargains or B&M once or twice. Uh, Rebel Red. Uh, a red ale, obviously. Sweetie, malty and balanced. Doesn't say the ABV. No, I can't see it unless I'm going blind. No. Right, get another wipe. From the Atlas Brewing Company. Latitude. And that's a 3.9% pale ale. I mean, in a lot of ways, you should do this anyway, because, you know, in, in slack supermarkets, um, in the back of supermarkets, obviously, sometimes they get rodents and birds flying in. And obviously, not the rodents aren't flying in. That'd be worrying, wouldn't it? Jesus Christ. Some flying rat. <clears throat> so you should always really wipe down stuff anyway. Yeasty boys. And it's their pot kettle black South Pacific Porter, six percent. Oh, gonna enjoy that one. I do like the stronger beers. And next on the list from B H Big Hug Brewing, and it's a red rye. Yep, and that's a five percenter. Next up, the White Hag Irish Brewing Company, Cauldron of Plenty, Oatmeal Porter. Again, never heard of these breweries. So this place, it's a proper, I mean, obviously, yeah, the dates, but who gives a monkeys about dates, really? You know, if it's a year and a year and a half out of date, then even I would be slightly concerned. But um, no. Mm, very different. Next up, uh, VAT 07 Premium Cloudy Cider, 4.5%. It's got a big S on it. Um, doesn't really say who makes it. Oh, Sheppies. So, obviously a craft cider. And uh, Sing Song Dong Pale Ale. Uh, Sing Song Dong. Amazing Brewing Company. Again, totally new company to me. I suppose if you, if you live, even in Nottingham, the way I am, uh, this company is releasing, there's breweries I've never heard of, never seen the beers. The only chance you, any time you see them is like a Nottingham Beer Festival when you, when you see these beers. I mean, it is a pain having to wipe down, but better, better to be safe than sorry. I've got a wife with asthma, and she cannot afford to get anything, you know, naughty. From the Franciscan Well Brewery again, Friar Weiser, a wheat beer with banana, clove, and toffee. Now, that does sound nice, that does. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> From the Gun Brewery, an extra pale, Scaramanga. 3.9% ABV, it's got a uh, vegan, it's got a great taste award as well, so. Next up, we're nearly there now. Oh, pot kettle black again. Yeah. There's plenty of that going on, isn't there? People calling the pot the kettle black. Uh, <laughs> in this day and age. <clears throat> So I've got a couple that I've had it again, but I suppose, like I say, uh, with the sheer amount of people ordering, it was going to happen. Um, I would have rather they just gave me separate, you know, different ones, but I ought to really put that on the note, please do not give me anything twice. Because I'll review them. But there you go, can't make them all. Uh, from Atlas Brewing Company again, Nimbus, um, and it's a 5% blonde. And finally, one that's been wrapped in uh, cling film for whatever reason. I don't know why you 
with that one in King Film, but there. Well, the, the can's nice and posh. Just quickly um, wipe the can over. Jobs are good in. And this is an artis, artisan, art, oh fuck me, artisanal ale from the Wild Wave Brewing. It's a brown porter. 5.2%. Quite a nice can as well. Yeah, that's what it says. Artisanal ale. I don't know, I'm not, I can't pronounce it. And that's it. So there they all are together on the floor. And in total, I've got them smacking uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 beers, 38 quid delivered. Now that's not bad, is it? You know, yes, I've two of them I've got twice. But uh, so, 23 review beers and two beers that'll just get necked. Um, but yeah, and it's from, I can't see my name. There we go. Mm, can you see it? Yeah. Lowcostbeer.com. Uh, under the Smiling Grape Company. So, yeah. Not bad at all. A couple of good ones that I missed out on, but, um, yeah. But, hey, oh, for the prices, oh, can't fault that at all. And the fact that there's loads I've never had before makes for a good beer haul. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And stay safe, of course. Cheers.